on this episode of It's Me or the Dog. <laughs> Victoria meets newlyweds Josh and Ashley <laughs> and their three massive Great Danes, Henry, Jackson, and new puppy Charlotte. I would love, if I had it my way, to have 20 or 30 dogs just running around the house, just open my own rescue. However, Josh says he will divorce me if I bring him any more, so we're gonna stop at three. Another off-the-wall habit Ashley has adopted is cooking gourmet meals for the dogs twice a day. I buy a 10-pound thing of ground beef, and Josh cooks Ow. this for me every Sunday. Whoa, that's a hunk of meat. That is a hunk of meat right there. Josh, do you like cooking for the dogs? Um, no, I don't, honestly. Not at all. It's, uh, I, I think it's, I think it's a bit excessive. I don't remember how I got suckered into this, because I never would have pictured myself doing this. I'm getting hungry, I don't know about you. <laughs> I have no problem with the dogs being on this diet, but Josh seems at his wit's end. I think he, in a way, gets very angry that Ashley pays him so much attention. And I think he's had enough. After witnessing the elaborate feeding process, Victoria wants to see how the dogs behave on a walk. Charlotte is completely out of control. She's all over the place. I can't even handle her. She'll send me flying across the street. So as you can see, this is a miserable experience. Yeah, I see it is a miserable experience. Because the dogs are so uncontrollable and it's so miserable to attempt to walk them, we just don't go for walks at all anymore. Josh, would you say any of this is taking a toll on your marriage? I, I, I would. I, it, it's taking a lot of time out of our marriage, mm -hmm. which is, that's the most frustrating thing for me, the, the, the fact that we are prisoners to these dogs. To begin, Victoria wants to give new puppy Charlotte some basic training. I used to love getting up every morning early when it's still cool and walking Henry and Jackson. But now that we have Charlotte, there is no managing her, so we have just put the walks on hold indefinitely. Now remember, it's hard for a little pup to have the self-control, mm -hmm. but she has to learn it. If she doesn't learn it, she's going to be an out-of-control adult. Part of the major reactivity is that these dogs aren't getting out. So Victoria wants to start with walking one-on-one. -on -one. Good girl. The first challenge is to stop Charlotte from wandering off. I'm going to use this wall, and I'm going to walk up and down this wall. So she's got really nowhere else to go. Good girl. Let's go back. Whenever Charlotte pulled, Come on. Good girl. I went off in the other direction so that her pulling wasn't reinforced. She realized that mm -hmm. if she wanted to get to where she wanted to go, she'd have to walk well on the leash. Up. Oh my gosh, I don't think this is possible. Then, Victoria introduces a command to encourage Charlotte to stay by her side. Close. Good girl. Close. Let's go. Close. Good girl. When she pulled, I used a vocal correction of an ah. Good girl. Up. Turn the other way. Walk. As soon as she came up to me and was close to me, I said close. Close. Reinforced her for that. Good girl. When I wanted Charlotte to stop, I said stop, stop. and I put my foot in front of her, as if to say, when I say stop, you have to listen to me. Let's go. Stop. Stop. Wow. It was really cool to see Charlotte do exactly what Victoria told her. And it just showed me that we were never persistent enough. Now it's Ashley's turn. Okay. Hey, get up. No, no, don't let her get to where she Charlotte, wants to go. Charlotte, let's go. Good girl. Close. Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte wasn't focusing on Ashley very well. She's really got to take that, that leadership role. Stop. Stop. I don't want you to jerk like that. You, you might have to put a tiny bit of pressure, but I want you to do more body language. OK. Close. Stop. Good. I want Ashley and Josh to reinforce this training again and again and again, because the dogs need exercise. They've got three rambunctious dogs here. Yeah, these dogs hardly get any exercise at all. Charlotte, you are going to be walking well on a leash perfectly very Can't soon. Can't wait. <laughs> Me either. I'd like you to take Charlotte out and carry on with the walking training with her. I'd like you to do the same sort of thing with both the dogs. OK. And I want you to walk each dog separately. It's been a pleasure working with you. Good luck. 
Thank and you. I shall see you upon your return. You've got a big job ahead of you. <laughs> we sure oh, do. Oh, oh, Thank God. you so much for right. helping us. So You're welcome. Good luck. Bye. Bye. I really feel like I've given Ashley and Josh a lot of options with which to train their dogs. And I think if they follow them, there's no reason why the whole family can't be successful. Later in the day, Ashley and Josh leave Jackson and Henry at home in order to practice with Charlotte on the leash. Let's go. She still has a couple problems, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Close. It takes some work, Close. but Charlotte quickly catches on. She is doing awesome. Well done. You timed that perfectly, and now you're going to be walking that puppy with no problem at all. Let's go. But a passing car reveals a serious new problem. Oh, oh my gosh. I hate Let's how go. she does that. We have to work on that. Yeah. Oh, dear. That is very dangerous. We are going to have to put a stop to that immediately. Back, Charlotte. Back at the house, Josh decides to save some time by walking Henry and Jackson together. See, this is not a good idea to leave her by herself. What are we going to do? Just, we have to for now. Should we let her out here? No, she can Look, jump she's over. She's going to tear up our door. Josh, I can see you're trying to cut corners here, but leaving Charlotte alone is not a good idea. Okay. This is why I haven't been taking them for walks anymore. <laughs> we'll be back, Charlotte. This is just a nightmare. <gasps> oh, my goodness, Charlotte has gotten out. Oh my god, did she jump the fence? This is not going to work here. I don't have three hours to spend walking. No, neither. Each dog individually. Let's just go inside, forget it. Come on. This is a disaster. Now, Henry and Jackson haven't been walked at all, and this is what happens when you push the training too fast. Let's gear ourselves up for what happened at the uh, for, on the walk. Totally Josh's I fault. I have never seen two people so out of control. It was not pretty. It was not pretty. What's this? Oh, they'll be all right walking them all together. I jumped, <laughs> I jumped the gun. Do you know, that is the biggest mistake people make, My. and their dogs fail because of it. Yeah. So why can you not walk them one by one? What if we take Charlotte one way, one of the other dogs oh. the other way? Oh, it'll be an absolute nightmare, let me tell you. In the back of my mind, I knew it wasn't going to work, but I just I had to see for myself. She quickly set me straight and, and said, we're talking months here, if not longer. Straight away, Victoria wants to address Charlotte's dangerous new habit. Oh, oh my god. Which requires a new command. I wanted to teach Charlotte the word leave it. I just start with a closed hand. Dog tries to work out how she's going to get it out. My hand, as soon as she takes her nose away from it, she's going to get it. Leave it. Go. I'm going to do an open hand now so she can see it and smell it. Leave it. Go. Leave it. Go. Oh, it's working. Leave it. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> I love teaching Leave It to smart dogs because they get it so fast. And literally within five minutes, she understood what the word meant. So that meant I could go out on the road and use it. Charlotte, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Leave it. Leave it. Very good. <laughs> wow. Very good. Oh, my gosh. Now Victoria has Ashley try. OK. OK, go. Leave it. Charlotte, leave it. Good girl. Very good. Good girl. I didn't All think right. she was going to do it for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see? I was absolutely shocked when I did the same command, and it still works. It feels good. Yeah, doesn't it just? <laughs> it does. Doesn't it just? And your dog's listening to you and respecting you. Ashley was so delighted at Charlotte's progress. I think now she sees how important it is that she becomes a real leader to her dogs. Everything's really good. The training has gone very well. Victoria has given us some great tools. Stop. And it's made uh, mine and Ashley's life much better. Josh and I are so happy with the changes we've made at the dogs. We have time for each other. We can go on dates. We don't have to be constantly stressed and arguing about the three dogs. <laughs> oh, no. 
The thing that Ashley and Josh were missing in their lives was balance. But now they found a happy medium between their work, their relationship and their dogs. I'm confident there's only good things ahead of them.